guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and I'm the crochet designer slash business strategist here behind a crafty concept. If this is your first time stumbling upon one of my videos, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. On this channel, I provide step-by-step -step video tutorials for free crochet patterns and crochet business tips to help you take the things that you make and learn how to sell them in your Etsy shops, at markets, all of the things. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a super cute pencil pocket gift holder. These are perfect for holding small gifts or gift cards or necessities like tissues or chapstick or all kinds of different things. I will pop up a list on the screen so you can see all kinds of really fun ideas for ways to use these or ways to market them to your customer. If you've been around here for a while, you've probably seen the egg gift pocket. This was the first one we released right before Easter. The chick egg gift pocket was the second one we released. The third one was the cactus gift pocket. This one I turned into a keychain, so you could clip it to like a backpack or a purse or a diaper bag, all kinds of fun ideas. And for this one, we are doing the pencil. Before we jump into the tutorial, I want to give a huge shout out to today's coffee sponsor. Today's coffee sponsor is Cindy and she says, I've learned so much, love your work, thank you so much. Thank you, Cindy. It fills me with so much joy to know that you find value in my content. I'm so glad that you love this channel, you love what we're doing here, and you took time out of your day to support the channel by buying me a cup of coffee. If you would like to be a coffee sponsor, you can go to acraftyconcept.com forward slash coffee, donate there, leave a message, and you will get a shout out in one of my next videos. Be sure to stay tuned to the very end of this video because I'm going to tell you how you can get your hands on a freebie. Spoiler alert, if you are a finished piece seller and you plan on selling these pencil pockets, this freebie is for you. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned till the end. And lastly, before we dive into the tutorial, I wanna give a quick disclaimer that this pattern has a bunch of tails. There are a bunch of tails to sew in at the end. If you are fine with sewing in a few tails at the end of a very fun project, stay tuned. We're gonna hop on over to my table and see what you need to make your own crafty pencil gift pocket. You're gonna need your yellow yarn, some medium gray yarn. This is, I love this yarn in the color gray beard. If it will focus for us, there we go. A darker gray, I use this for the tip of our pencil, so to kind of look like charcoal or graphite, whatever. This one is Yarn Be Soft and Sleek. You'll need some cream colored for the pencil part right here. This is linen, I love this yarn. And then you'll need some eraser color. This is rose, I love this yarn, or rosy cheeks, I think is what it's called. You'll just need a little bit of each color. You'll also need your G. 4.0 millimeter crochet hook. This is Clover Amore brand. This is my favorite hook brand to work with. Highly recommend Clover Amore if you've never tried it. A tapestry needle, a pair of scissors, and you may need the graph. You can find this in the blog post and in the PDF if you purchase that. So let's go ahead and grab our pink yarn. We're gonna be starting down here at the bottom. We are going to start by making a foundation single crochet of 10. So to make the foundation single crochet, we're gonna make a slip knot. Okay. Y'all forgive me, I'm using a new camera. Okay, we're gonna chain one, chain two, then we're gonna put our hook into the first chain. Grab our yarn, pull up a loop. Yarn over, I, I yarn under, don't worry about it. Yarn over or under, whatever whatever's your jam. Pull through one. That spot is, is where we're gonna put our hook for the next foundation single crochet. Yarn over, pull through two. That's one. So we're gonna put our hook into that chain one space that we made when we pulled through one. Grab our yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one. That's where the next space is gonna go. Yarn over, pull through two, that's two. Into that space that we created when we pulled through one. Grab our yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two, that's three. Gonna do that all the way down. For 10 foundation single crochets. Okay, and after you have 10, we're going to chain one and turn our work. So we just did the first row of our little pencil down here. For row two, we are going to increase in the first stitch, single crochet across, and then increase in the last stitch. So we're going from 10 to 12 stitches. So we're gonna start with an increase, 
That just means two single crochets in the same spot. We're going to single crochet across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we're going to increase in the last stitch, giving us a total of 12 stitches in the row. Okay, chain one and turn our work. For row three, we're just going to single crochet one time in each stitch all the way across, again for 12 stitches. And this is number 12. Grab your own pull up a loop. We're not going to finish out that stitch with our pink. We're going to drop our pink and we're going to grab our medium gray. I use little tiny baby rubber bands to hold my yarn balls together. Pro tip. Then we're going to finish out the stitch by grabbing our gray yarn and pulling it through both the loops on our hook. Chain one to secure and turn our work. Now we're going to increase in the first stitch and the last stitch going from 12 to 14. So start by placing an increase. Now, if you've been watching my hook, I, I typically yarn under. That's how I taught myself. It's just, it's just my preference. You can do whatever your preference is. But when I change colors, I always make sure to yarn over like most people do because I feel like it makes a prettier transition from color to color. So anytime I have a new row, I always yarn over. I yarn under because I'm faster that way and it's just how my muscle memory works. So I have to think about it and pay more attention when I'm yarning over, but I like how it looks when you switch colors. So then we're gonna increase in the last stitch, which just means two single crochets together, chain one and turn our work. For row five, we're just gonna single crochet one time in each stitch all the way down, again for 14 stitches. Okay, and this is number 14. We're not going to finish out with the gray. We're going to drop our gray and we're going to grab our yellow. We're going to finish out the stitch with the yellow here. Chain one and turn our work. We're going to increase in the first stitch, single crochet across, and then increase in the, the last stitch. That's going to give us a total of 16 stitches, and this is the last time we will be increasing. So two single crochets here in the first stitch, one, two, it's getting a little loosey-goosey over here. Then single crochet across, and then increase in the last stitch, so single crochet and single crochet, chain one and turn our work. Now we have five more rows of 16 single crochets in each row. Now we have five more rows of 16 single crochets in each row. So we're just going to single crochet one time in each stitch all the way across for five more rows and then we'll come back and start our decreases. Okay, I just finished row 11. Now we're going to start our decrease rows. So for row 12, we are going to chain one and turn our work decrease over the first two stitches. So to do a single crochet decrease, you insert your hook into the first stitch, grab your yarn, pull up a loop, insert your hook into the next stitch, grab your yarn, pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. That is our single crochet decrease. And then we're gonna single crochet across. And then we're gonna decrease over the last two stitches. So we're going to go from 16 to 14. Okay, we have two stitches left. So that's where I'm going to place my decrease. Chain one and turn our work. For row 13, we're just going to single crochet one time in each stitch all the way down. Again, for a total of 14 stitches in the row. chain one and turn our work. If you hear that background noise, that is my puppy. She is playing with a toy that she is allowed to play with, so I'll take the win. Now we're going to decrease again for row 14. Decrease over the first two stitches. Single crochet all the way down. And this time we're going from 14 stitches to 12 stitches. Then we're going to decrease over the last two stitches there. 
chain one and turn our work. For now we're just going to single crochet one time in each stitch all the way down again for a total of 12 stitches but in the last stitch we're going to switch to our linen colored yarn. We're getting up here to the top of our pencil now. Okay, one stitch left. I'm going to insert my hook, grab my yarn, pull up a loop, drop the yellow, and grab my linen, and pull the linen through like I'm finishing out the single crochet. This will make your color changes cleaner. Chain one and turn our work. Now we're going to decrease again. So insert into the first stitch, grab your yarn, pull up a loop. Insert into the second stitch, grab your yarn, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. That's our first decrease. Then we're going to single crochet all the way down. Again, I'm, I will be yarning over for this row because it's a color change row and I just think it looks cleaner. And then we are going to decrease over the last two stitches. Chain one and turn our work. Now we're gonna single crochet one time in each stitch all the way down for a total of 10 stitches. But in the last single crochet, we're gonna switch to our graphite colored yarn. Okay, last stitch. I'm gonna switch to my graphite color. Finish out the stitch with the new color. Chain one and turn our work. Now we are going to, we're up here, we've got three rows left for the front of our pencil. We're gonna decrease, decrease, decrease. So all three rows are decrease rows. So decrease in the first stitch. Single crochet across and then decrease in the last stitch. Chain one, turn our work. Decrease over the first two stitches. Single crochet across and decrease over the last two stitches. And last one, decrease over the first two stitches, single crochet one and two, and then decrease over the last stitches. So we go eight, six, four. That's how many stitches are in each of those last three rows. Now we are finished with the front piece of our pencil. We can clip all of our yarn and tie off. Now I like to leave my tails unsewn until the very end, just so I don't get anything confused it helps me line it up properly. So I'm just gonna let them all hangle, hangle, dangle and hang at the same time here on the side until we are ready to join our front and back pieces together. But this is the front piece, then this is the right side. So the correct side has all the tails on the right hand side for this piece. That's the correct side. Now to do the back two pieces, you're just going to repeat all of the steps for this one. So for the bottom piece, you repeat rows one through 11, exactly the same. For the top, you're gonna to repeat rows eight through 20. Now your row eight, since it's the beginning of the top piece of your pencil, you're gonna do a foundation single crochet 16, just like we foundation single crochet 10 for these. You're just gonna do a couple more to get to 16 and finish out the rest of the rows by following the same pattern we did over here. So these two are done the exact same way as the front piece, so feel free to rewatch that video, slow it down, speed it up, pause it, whatever you need to do, and then we'll come back together after we get all three of our pencil pieces and we will get ready to assemble it together. Sorry, I forgot to tell you, when you're working on your back pieces, don't cut your yarn for the graphite. Leave a very long tail for the linen, don't cut your yarn for the top yellow. Okay, I just finished my two back pieces and my front piece and all, everything, we got everything done. Now it's time to start assembling. The first pencil pocket that I made, I flipped it, like I made it to where it was assembled on the wrong side and then flipped it so the right side was facing out. For this one, I'm going to assemble it where the right side is facing out. So it's gonna look more like this, where the seam is on the outside, instead of this one, where the seam is on the inside. I think it gives it a nice clean look. You can choose to do this method if you'd like. Just follow the instructions for the original egg, which is linked down below. But for this video, we're gonna go this way. So keeping that in mind, we need our right sides facing out. 
So this is the right side, and we need it facing us. And then this is the right side, so I'm going to flip this over. So I've got my back piece tails on the left side of my work, my, right, my front piece tails on the right side of my work. This is why I leave the tails. It helps me line it up. So we are going to join right here, and then we're going to start going this way around the pencil. Okay, so I'm going to take my hook out of my working yarn back here. I went ahead and chained one after I finished the last row. I'm going to insert my hook into the first stitch of the top piece. I'm going to grab that working yarn, and I'm going to pull it through. And then I'm going to chain one to secure it. Now we're going to single crochet across the top four stitches. So we're looking at these right here. One, two, three, four. We're going to single crochet across the top. We're going to put two single crochets in the first stitch, being sure to go through the front and the back piece at the same time. So I'm going to put my insert my hook into the first stitch right where we joined of the front piece, and then that same stitch of the back piece right where we joined. I'm going to place two single crochets here. So that's one, and then again in the same stitches, making sure to go through the front and the back, that's two. Then we're going to single crochet in the next two stitches just one time. So insert into the next stitch of the front piece, insert into the next stitch of the back piece. I know it's hard to see, just bear with me. Single crochet, another one, insert into the next stitch of the front piece, insert into the next stitch of the back piece single crochet. Now we are at the fourth stitch right here. Maybe it's a little easier to see on the graph. We're going to place two more single crochets in this stitch. So insert our hook, insert our hook, place a single crochet. That's one. And again for two. Perfect. Now we are going to go down the side of our piece. So into the side of our stitches this way. Instead of going right in the top, so we're going to go into the side, which is the raw edge of our work, so we're going to have to make our own spots for our stitches to go. This is going to be a little difficult to see because I chose dark yarn for my pencil tippy. If you need to see this better, you can check out this video. I'm going to try to use as many words as I can to make it as easy as possible for you. Here we go. So we have three stitches left of this graphite colored yarn, so we're going to go into the side of the first stitch, into the side of the first stitch on the back piece, and place a single crochet. Do that two more times into the side, into the side for two. And then three. And this time we are not going to close out our stitch with our graphite yarn. We're going to grab the linen color yarn. So I'm going to start my stitch with the gray here. But I'm going to finish it by dropping the gray and picking up the linen that's still attached to my working yarn. Now we have two stitches with the linen, being sure to go through both the front and back pieces. It's a little weird where there's color changes. That's one. The second one. That's two, but we're not going to finish it out. We're going to drop the linen pick up the yellow that's still attached to our working yarn and finish out the stitch with the yellow. Okay, now we are going to do four stitches with the yellow before we grab the bottom of our back piece. So we've got four yellow stitches here. So the first one and then line it up on the second. That's one, and then we have two, then we have three, and then last is four. Now we are going to grab our bottom back piece, and this one is going to go under the, the bottom top piece, the front piece, and the bottom back piece. It's going to go under, sandwiched in between those. Now we're going to go through these four stitches, one, two, three, four, because they're like this now. They're on top of each other. So we're going through three pieces at the same time. We're going to go through one, and then the back, OK, 
Okay, and then this piece. So we're going through three stitches at once. We're gonna do that for four single crochets. That's one. That's two. That's three. And then the last one, going through all three pieces. And single crochet for four. Then we have two yellow single crochets left, but this time we're just going through the front piece and the bottom back piece. One and two, but we're not gonna finish out our second one. We're gonna grab the light gray. So grab the light gray, scooch all these out of the way, and finish out the second stitch. Then we've got two stitches with the light gray and again, we're just making our own spots because this is the raw side of our work. That's one, and then another one, but this time we're not going to finish out the stitch. We're gonna pick up our pink this time. That's two. Now we're gonna grab our pink that's still attached to our working yarn over here and finish out that stitch. And then you're gonna look at our graph. Okay, now we have three pink stitches in the side, one, two, three, and then we're gonna be back in the tops for these 10 down here. So three more, and then we should be in the top corner, or bottom corner. Got one here, and then two, and three, Get that tail out of the way. Now our next stitch is going to be, if we're looking at the pencil the same, it's gonna be right here. So it's this corner right here, and we're going in the top of the stitches just like normal, but we're gonna place two here. We put two stitches in both of these down here. We're gonna put two stitches in both of these up here as well. It's gonna help it curve around the pencil a little bit better. So if you look, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 stitches across the, the bottom. So this is gonna be where we put our first two stitches and then find the matching one on the other side for two, one, and two, then we're gonna single crochet across eight, lining up the stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight, and then we're gonna put two in the last stitch. So we've got one stitch left, and that's where we're gonna place our two single crochets together. One, and I like to pull that tail out of the way. Two, perfect. Now we're gonna go up the other side of our pencil. We've got three pinks, and we're going, this is where we are now. So into the side, one, two, three. So three into the side here. One. Two, and then the third one is weird because there's color changes. Three, we're not gonna finish out the stitch. We're gonna drop our pink and we're gonna pick up some gray. Now, if we would have left one of these tails, ooh, this one's long enough. Okay, so because I made this tail long enough, I can use this here for my side stitches. So we got two gray side stitches coming in. So I'm gonna finish out the stitch with the gray. We've got two gray stitches. We are right here, one and two going through the front piece and the back piece. That's one, and the second one is two. 
We're not gonna finish it out, we're gonna grab some yellow. So we do not have a long enough yellow tail, so I'm going to cut my yellow and then just rejoin. Finish out the second stitch. Then we have two more yellow stitches before we have to go through all three pieces. So two more yellow stitches just going through the front and the back pieces only. So that's one, maybe, there we go. And then the next one is two. Now we're going to grab our top back piece. Here we go. And we're gonna go through all three pieces together. So one, we're gonna do that for four stitches. That's one, making sure to go through all three and you're making your own spots as you go. Two, three, and then the last one. A little weird when you're squeezed in here. Four, and we have four stitches left with our yellow. We just finished this one and we have one, two, three, four. Then we're gonna switch back to our linen. And these ones just go through the back top and the front. So four stitches. One, two, three, and then four. But you guessed it. We're not gonna finish the fourth. We're gonna drop our yellow. We're gonna pick up our longest linen and see if we've got enough to make two stitches out of it. We should have made one of these longer. Oh, they're about the same. Oh, nope, that one. We're gonna go with this one. Okay, finish out the stitch. And then you've got two linen, making sure to go through the front and the back pieces with your linen. One and two, but we're not finishing it. So I think we're gonna have enough with this tiny tail. Barely, okay. Then we're gonna grab some gray. Now, if we would have made this tail longer, we would have had enough here. And this was the, when we joined our gray yarn for the front piece, if we would have left our starting tail longer, we could have finished out with that. So pro tip, when you're making this for your next pencil, if you wanna leave your starting tail, when you add your gray to your top piece, the starting tail, not the one that you cut, but the starting tail. Make it very, very long and then you can use it. I mean, we only need three stitches. We're gonna finish out our stitch by grabbing a new one. There we go. And then three single crochets up the side, making your own spots. So the good news about the dark colored yarn, if you can barely see it, then so can your customers. So if you get a little bit like carried away with your placement, nobody's gonna know because it's invisible. Okay, now we're gonna join into the top of our first single crochet to tie off, like so. Clip all of our yarn, and then we've got a billion tails to sew in. I don't love it, you guys. I usually try my best to design patterns where you do not have 600 tails to sew in at the end. But with this pattern, to get it to look like a pencil, this is the only option. This so is what we got. I'm gonna sew in all of these tails. I'll do one here on camera so you can see how I do it. I like to use a tapestry needle. Just your, there you go, tapestry needle. It's like a big sewing needle. Now, I usually like to hide my tails on the inside of my work, but since they're all sticking out here, I'm gonna try to, to do it and then cut them on the inside. So I'm gonna go like this, my tapestry needle. And then I'm gonna put my hand in here. Make sure you don't sew it closed, okay? Make sure you're just going through one layer at a time. And then just hide it in between the stitches. And I like to do a little back and forth so I can kind of go over my own tails at some point so it's kind of all knotted up up in there. And then I'm gonna poke it to the inside and pull it through, making sure not to go through any more layers. And then I'm gonna snip it from the inside. Boop. I'm gonna do that to all of my tails and then I will come back for the finishing touch of the number two here, because it's a number two pencil. Okay, now I have all of my tails sewn in. This is what my beautiful pencil pocket looks like. 
perfect for teacher's gifts, first day of school gifts, classmate gifts, all of the things. Now we are going to add the final touch, which is going to be the lovely number two here on the side because it's a number two pencil. Now I already practiced on this one, so you can see what we've got. If you wanna make yours smaller, you're welcome to do that. If you wanna to try to put the N-O next to it, you're welcome to do that. I like to keep it as simple as possible. To put your number two on your pe pencil pocket, we're gonna be using puff paint. This stuff is amazing. It will stick to your crochet and it will be machine washable and dryable depending upon the yarn. So for this yarn, this is I Love This Yarn from Hobby Lobby, wash on gentle, lay flat to dry. This will stay on. I haven't tested it on this yarn. I did it on blanket yarn and I've washed it a hundred times and it's fine. So in theory, it should work. I will post it eventually on Instagram and tell you if it, if it works for sure or not, but I'm 97% sure it will work. I'm gonna be using this tiny little tip to squirt out my number two. You're welcome to practice on a piece of paper if you would like. I'm just gonna go ahead and wing it. So I'm just gonna like kind of eyeball what I want it to look like. And then I'm gonna squirt it on there and hope I don't mess it up. Okay. Okay, there we go, easy peasy. I mean, it's not perfect, but it'll work. Then you're gonna let it dry for a very long time. Only thing I'm concerned about is it looks like it's kind of sitting on top of the yarn more than like, maybe it needs to be a little thicker. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make it a little thicker and kind of really dab it into the fiber of the yarn. That's what we're going for. That way it is nice and meshed with your yarn. So it will stay on. I think that will be better. And it looks good too. Ha <laughs> too. Just kinda smoosh it in as you go. Okay? There's a weird fiber sticking up now, but I can cut that off later. There we go. That looks better anyway. It's crooked, but it's cute. <laughs> crooked, but cute. I'm gonna double up on this one too. And then you let it dry for like 24 hours. I know that's a long time. You can probably get by with less time if you absolutely had to. But the longer you can let it dry, the better. If you touch it, it will mess up and smudge and make you very, very sad. This one is really thick. I'll post on Instagram how it turns out. That is it, friends, for the crochet pencil pocket gift holder. Let's go stand in front of the yarn wall and I will send you off and tell you how you can get your hands on a freebie and show you a sneak peek of the crafty pocket pattern we are going to release next. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you love this pattern. I cannot wait to see your crafty pencil gift pockets. If you post any pictures, be sure to tag me at a crafty concept so I can admire your handiwork. And as promised, here is the freebie I have for you. If you click the link down below, you can sign up to my email list and receive a free sheet of reusable gift pocket product tags to print off cut out and attached to your gift pockets. This was designed to fit on all of the different gift pockets we offer. I plan on releasing more gift pocket patterns over the next few months, so this freebie is something you will be able to use for every single one of them. You sign up to my email list, it will be sent to you automatically, it will be in your inbox within moments. If you like this pattern, be sure to give the video a thumbs up so I know that you want me to keep creating gift pockets. If you want to see more free crochet patterns and crochet business tips, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you do not miss a single thing. And last but not least, coming up next, we have the cow gift pocket. Look how cute. So this one is like a Highland, Highland cow, Highlander, Highland, I'm not sure. And can put your little gifts in the back. He's got his little nose holes. And you can also follow the same pattern for this type of cow. Um, I'm probably going to record the video to show you how to add the patch behind the eye. But then if you wanna do a solid color cow, you could just leave off the color changes. Super simple. But this video is coming out next, so subscribe to the channel so you do not miss it. Thank you for being here. I hope you have a great day, a wonderful rest of your week, and I will see you in the next video.